Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kezebai. So last time I uploaded a video. It's about how much does it cost to learn programming in Japan. And I figured out that it gets more attention than other videos. So today I want to create another one related to the job in Japan. That is how I found the job in Japan. Software engineer edition. I have got many comments like how to find the jobs in Japan or tell me the tips about how to do the job hunting in Japan. So hopefully today's video would be helpful to you. But I'm not a professional for job hunting. I'm just explaining based on my experiences. In today's video, I will cover three points. What recruiting services did I use? Job fair I joined in Japan. Employee referral. So are you ready for the job hunting journey? Here we go. Okay, so the first topic, what recruiting services did I use? When it comes to finding the job offers, I think it's better to use some recruiting services because when you register the services, you will get more scouted by the headhunters. It means you'll get introduced many job offers based on the condition that you are looking for. You can save time more than finding jobs by yourself. I registered some recruiting services, but I am pretty satisfied with the service of BizReach the most. There are some reasons why I think so. For example, lots of job offers, lots of good headhunters, many convenient services, easy to use. I have got some interviews by using the services actually. So if you are looking for the jobs in Japan, you can register the account for free and explore. Hopefully you will find the jobs best suited to you. Okay, next, job fair. Have you ever heard of the job fair before? I have only joined the job fair in Japan, but it's like a festival held in the huge place. There are lots of companies joining the event in each individual areas to explain what they are doing and how attractive to work there. Like overview of their business, history of the company, what kind of person HR is looking for, Q&A time. And this Q&A time is quite interesting because whenever you make a Q&A to HR, we need to be very careful about your word. It's like, hello sir. Today, thank you so much for your impressive explanation. My name is Ked Bai from University. It would be very appreciated if I could ask you about how you overcome your hardships before. Thank you so much. Like this, we cannot ask about the salary or overtime working straightforwardly because it's quite a sensitive topic on job fair. Generally not allowed to ask it on the job fair, even though that's the most interesting topic for us. I have joined the job fairs a few times in Osaka and Tokyo. And I feel like it's like um, offline matching for both HR and the job seekers. When HR finds a good candidate, they take a note and try to attract to join their interview. Vice versa, when job seekers find a good company, they try to make a question proactively to give HR for a good impression. Another thing I remember the most is everyone is looking like the same. Because wearing the same suit and similar hairstyle looks like everyone is exactly the same. If you already live in Japan and got interested in joining, you can apply it online. It will be held regularly. Next, employee referral. Referral means the existing employee recommend to their company, to the friends, and it's getting more common way to do the job recruiting in Japan, especially in IT developers because there are many meet-up events for the software developers and the community is very close and strong. If someone introduces the required position and the skills and it matches with the candidate, they can easily find the job offer via referral. Also recently, showing the skills on Twitter to find the jobs also getting more common. My friend also got the jobs from the Twitter referral. So if you are confident on your skills, maybe you can give it a shot. So that's all for today's video. If you like my content, please don't forget to subscribe and also put the thumb button. See you in the next video. Goodbye.